First, you'll find the software settings at the top right corner of the home page. Click here to access it. Select General to choose your desired language, configure the scanner's M key function, and enable or disable the project naming pop-up, among other options. Click File Path to set the default save path for files or screenshots. Click PC Performance to see the minimum PC requirements. You can also check your PC's performance to determine whether it can run Revoscan 5 Metro X smoothly. On the left side of the home page is the navigation bar. Click to switch between the home, learning, and contact us pages. In the bottom left corner of the home page, you'll find scanner calibration. Click here to check the scanner's accuracy and start the calibration. After successfully connecting the scanner, click New Project on the home page to enter the project interface. The software defaults to Marker Scan, but you can switch to Feature Scan based on your needs and the objects involved. On the left side of the project interface, you will find the camera preview windows that change based on the following modes selected. When using cross lines or parallel lines mode, click auto to let the software adjust the depth camera's exposure and laser brightness, or adjust manually using the slider. When using full field mode, click auto to adjust the depth exposure automatically or manually adjust it with the slider. Aim to keep the object's surface as gray as possible. The camera's 90 degrees orientation button is in the upper right corner of the preview window. When using the scanner in landscape orientation, click it to change the orientation of the camera preview and scanning image display. When using the auto turntable mode, there are two camera preview windows. In the depth camera preview, click auto to adjust depth exposure automatically or manually adjust with the slider. Aim to keep the object's surface as gray as possible. Toggling on a color scan allows auto setting or manual adjustment of the RGB camera's exposure and white balance. The central preview window is located at the center of the project interface. It allows you to view real-time data capture while scanning. The scanning distance indicator on the right shows whether the distance between the scanner and the object is optimal. It's recommended that the bar remain as green as possible during a scan. After a color scan, you can switch between the colored and non-color scan data in the upper right corner of the central preview window. You can see the scanner's frame rate on the right side of the project interface. Below it are the scanning controls, such as start, pause, etc. The scan settings are below the controls. The first is scanning mode, which can be set as needed. Refer to the previous tutorial for applicable scenarios and operations. Please note that there is a turntable setting button when using the auto turntable mode. Click the button to access turntable settings. Then, you can connect the turntable and set its rotation direction, interval angle, number of rotations, etc. Next is the tracking mode. If you initially selected Marker Scan, you can choose between Marker Tracking or Global Marker Tracking here. The next is the Object Type. The types available depend on the scanning and tracking modes you select above. If using the Auto Turntable mode, you can enable color scans if needed. When the Base Removal function on the lower right side of the project interface is turned on, the software automatically detects and deletes unwanted flat surfaces like tables or floors. Scanning Distance adjusts the operational range of depth cameras, enabling them to disregard unwanted objects in the background or foreground. After the scan is finished, enter the post-processing interface. Use the tab bar at the top to edit the model. You can use one-click edit. 
Tap the Apply button, and then the system will automatically complete point cloud fusion, mesh, and texture mapping if a color scan was performed. Click the Cancel button to undo the operation. You can also manually edit the model step by step, following the order of point cloud fusion, mesh, and texture mapping. In Fusion, you can modify the point distance to suit your needs and eliminate markers from the point cloud. During Fusion, the raw point cloud data is combined into a comprehensive point cloud model. After Fusion, you can use additional point cloud editing tools to further enhance and optimize the model. If using the full field or auto turntable mode in marker scan, you can use the fusion optimize function to enhance the details effect when fusing the model. Set the desired mesh quality in mesh to generate a mesh model. Then, use editing tools to further refine the details. If a color skin was performed, you can texture the model after meshing to create a realistic colored model. The model panel is on the left side of the post-processing interface. You can use the keyframes edit function here if the data was captured in full field or auto turntable mode. The Selection Toolbar, located on the right side of the post-processing interface, allows you to manually select unwanted data for editing or deletion. For a more detailed explanation of operating the software, Please consult the user manual on the learning page. Revoscan 5 Metro X is continuously updated. Please use the latest version on Revopoint's website.